Today we're going to be doing intermediate. I'm going to show you traditional grip and I'm going to show you. This is Clayton Skinner. Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Beat. Hello there. My name is Clayton Skinner. Welcome to Beyond the Beat. In this episode, I'm going to teach you a rudiment called Lesson 25. Lesson 25 is one of many drag rudiments that I hope to show you. It gets its name from what I assume is it was one of the original 26 rudiments and after 25 rudiments they ran out of cool names and so they named it Lesson 25. I don't know if that's the real history of it but let's just pretend that it is. One of the interesting things about this rudiment is that it's actually a one-sided rudiment. One-sided just simply means that you're leading with one hand and you continuously lead with that one hand. If you were going to do the, with leading, do the rudiment leading with the other hand, it would be leading with only that hand. And if you're looking at the PDF, you'll understand this. There's two examples of this exercise, lesson one and lesson two. Lesson one is led with the right hand and lesson two is led with the left hand. So regardless, it doesn't really matter which one you choose to do. I'm going to lead with my right hand and I'm going to show you how to do it like that and then I'll show you how to do it with your left hand as well. It's the same thing. Um, and that way you can learn rudiments with both hands and everything's good. So looking at the PDF, you're going to see that lesson one starts off with a drag. Now if you're not sure what a drag is, I suggest you go back and learn what a drag is because it's very important that you understand what a drag is. Okay, so directly after that drag, the first drag, you are going to see another 16th note followed by an 8th note. Now that 8th note is accented. An accented note, as you already know, or you should already know, is a note that's played louder than other notes, specifically in that bar. Now, the drag starts off in, a, in exercise one, it's going to be a right-handed drag. So we'll first start off with the right-handed drag. Now, following that right-handed drag, it's going to be a left hand, the opposite hand that you were dragging with. So the pattern goes right, left, right. Now the drag, the two bounces are done with the left hand. So that almost completes the process. So you're almost doing a single stroke roll. But the one hand, the one left hand that you're going to be doing in this particular exercise is going to be the bounces, which of course you realize we don't count. So the rudiment sounds like this. So you'll notice that I use the accents to kind of push me into continuing on with the rudiment. Um, again, it's a one-sided rudiment, so you can't necessarily flip hands. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but in this example that I'm going to give you, it's only one-sided. We're not going to be changing hands in this one. So here's an example of smooth right. And then I'm going to show you an example of how to do it with your left hand. To do it with your left hand, it's the same thing, you're just reversing. Rather than dragging with this hand as the dominant hand, you're dragging with this hand as a dominant hand. Following with the opposite hand, accenting with the hand that you dragged with initially, and then you'll be right back to where you started. So here's an example of the right, and then I'll give you an example of the left, and I'll see you next time.